What's up guys, Don Matter here, and today we are going to be reacting to another Brennan Herrera video. So this one is the AK Tommy Gun, the St. Petersburg typewriter, which is a great name. Um, and yeah, I'm starting to understand why they call him AK Jesus. Uh, all of these like modified gun videos, custom gun videos, seem to have the AK involved in some way or another. So uh, yeah, apparently he modified a Tommy Gun to... I'm, guessing shoot AK rounds, uh, or maybe modified an AK to be a Tommy gun of some sort. Anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's uh, see what wild shit's going on here. Mother lovers, now today is a very special day, because today is the day I get to show you guys something that you guys have been hounding me for ever since we teased it. So let's just get right down to brass tacks. Today, I am happy to present to you the St. Petersburg typewriter, AKA the Kami Tommy. Okay, so it looks like he modified an AK. Now, last summer, we Those did a Curtis cool. Gun Images video where one of the pictures that we talked about was kind of a, a blend of an AK and a Thompson. Now, I mentioned that if that video got over 200,000 likes, that we would try our own hand at making our own St. Petersburg typewriter. Guys, I'm not even kidding. That turned out to be our most liked video <laughs> we've ever done. Right now it's sitting Never at like to see it. just under a quarter of a million likes. Now doing something like an AK Thompson isn't exactly easy, especially if you want to do it right. But me and my guys, we were up to the challenge. A lot of work went into it, a lot of custom fabrication, all of which uh, we'll get into later. Uh, but oh yeah, so, so in the other eight, the AK 50 Cal video, um, I asked, like, was he planning on selling this? And somebody was saying that he actually has, like, a gun manufacturing license or whatever the specific thing he needs. Uh, so he actually legally is able to sell guns. Um, so I'm guessing he's going to start a company at some point. Or maybe he already even started one. I'm not entirely sure. But it's kind of funny. that just, like, literally the dude makes meme guns and is possibly going to sell them. But now, I'm just happy to be able to show this off to you guys, and like I said, I'm a man of my fucking words, so... I know what you guys really want. You want to see it in action. Oh my god. <laughs> it just goes. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> so what PS the Russia fuck reference. Is this thing? So originally we called it the St. Petersburg typewriter as kind of a, you know, joke about a, uh, a Russian AK equivalent of the Thompson, which is the uh, Chicago typewriter. Specifically the model Thompson that had the drum magazine and this forward grip here. Iconic gangster weapon. And, yeah, I was gonna uh, say, that's probably like the most iconic weapon when it comes to like early 1900s, like bootlegging and mafia. And yeah, just like the entire like association with like the Chicago crime of that era. Like that's gotta be one of the most iconic guns just in, in general, just because of that era and like the movies that came out. And then obviously, you know, like the movies like the seventies and eighties and uh, right up until today that are, you know, kind of playing on that trope. Uh, still looks pretty gangster as an AK. So Chicago typewriter, St. Petersburg typewriter, even though later on uh, I started to like the name Kami Tommy a little bit better. Rolls off the tongue. Now the original photo had a drum in it, but it didn't really specify the caliber. So I asked you guys whether you wanted to go 45 ACP drums like the Thompson or uh, something a little bit more Soviet like the PPSH-41, which is chambered in 7.62 by 25 Tokarev. The answer was resounding Soviet 7.62 yeah. Tokarev. So that's the direction we went. And honestly, it just kind of feels more AK somehow. Now, just a reminder, it was my subscribers and the effort of this community that got us over that 200,000 like mark that made this gun happen. If you would like to be a part of said community, first off, be very, very careful. It's a jungle out there. But if that doesn't scare you away, you could always just hit that subscribe button, see more cool projects like this. Now, something like this, obviously, like we were mentioning, is uh, very, very custom. 
Almost every part on this gun was modified one way or other to end up with this final product. Very time and labor intensive. In fact, this project has been going on behind the scenes for several, several months. And since I get the feeling that this video is not gonna be popular uh, with uh, our overlords, we- Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, he, he always says that in his videos, but like half his videos are literally modified guns, which is an automatic demonetization, or uh, people using firearms, like when it comes to like the Darwin Awards in unsafe ways, which is an automatic demonetization. <laughs> it's like, like when, he, when he uploads his videos, I don't know if he does it himself or if like he has like a team or whatever. I'm assuming he initially started it on his own. Um, but does he not read what the monetization stuff says? Literally when they have like the drop down list for do you want this monetized or not, when you get to like firearms, if it's modified or used in an unsafe matter, that is automatically at least limited to monetization. Now the annoying thing is, even if even if you don't turn ads on, or even if your video does get demonetized, YouTube will still run ads on it. They just won't give you the money for it, which is like the most irritating thing ever. It's like, yeah, this isn't safe for advertisers. They wouldn't want to advertise on it, so you don't get any money. But also, we're gonna throw ads on it anyway and take that money. We'd like to thank our sponsor, TacPack, AKA TacPack. TacPack is a monthly subscription service for all sorts of tactical goods and accessories like universal mag carriers, SOG combat axe thing. Here. Man, I actually, two things I really want to get into. One is bows. Like I don't, like, I want to get a bow to just like shoot in the backyard at like a target. Uh, and then throwing axes. Throwing axes are fucking sick. There are 15 carry tools and a bunch more stuff. And if you're going to sign up with TacPack, be sure to use my code AKGUY. So check out that deal down in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you to TacPack for sponsoring the video. Now, a lot of you guys might think that just making a 7.62x25 uh, Tokarev AK like this is just simply you know, swapping a barrel. They don't really make those barrels. So the barrel had to be done completely from scratch, uh, as well as a lot of the operation of the gun had to change a little bit, especially when it comes to feeding from a BPSH-41 drum, because I don't know if you know this, but AKs aren't built to do that. Most AKs don't have uh, this going on. So we had to do some strategic cuts and actually design an entirely new magwell here. So Zach actually had to design plates to go in the front and back. We thought about an entire magwell assembly to do it, but it turns out just being easier all the way around uh, for uh, just plates, like one in the rear and one in the front that uh, the drum can kind of, you know, press up against, and slide we'll into feed place, it in there. and it includes a feed ramp so that the 7.62 Tokarev can actually feed into the chamber without the traditional feed geometry of an AK front trunnion. Once again, designed for 7.62x39, which is dramatically different than 7.62 Tokarev. So I'm radically oversimplifying this. We've got our modified uh, mag well uh, here, our uh, mag catch, as well as the cut here uh, to fit the drum. And this is our front plate here. We've got a plate that's welded in place. Uh, the little bottom area here of the trunnion kind of taken away. Not really necessary, especially since there's no actual lockup in the trunnion. We went direct blowback since this is a pistol cartridge, but you've got your little feed ramp there that feeds rounds directly into the chamber. Shout out to Yankovic Armament for helping us out and laser cutting these for us, by the way. While this work with the magwell, mag catch, feed ramp, and the barrel is to allow us to be able to fire this little bad boy. 7.62 Tokarev. Now to show off some of the power that we're working with, with this gun being chambered in 7.62 by 25 Tokarev, we're gonna be doing our traditional white claw penetration. <laughs> Sandbag, huge improvement for that, by the way. I think this white claw smells like a rat, boys. Firing. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Got plenty of spray on that one. So to the surprise of no one, the 762 by 25 Tokarev made short work of the White Claw. Now let's compare that to the 9mm, the traditional choice for, uh, you know, most submachine guns. Definitely the more popular caliber. So I don't have a 9mm submachine gun out here today. I know, I'm caught. You got a pistol. Lacking. I do have this, which is my new carry gun, actually, from Danger Close. It's so a Gucci'd up Glock 19 chambered in nine millimeters. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Nine millimeter mango in three, two, one. <laughs> I was honestly, I was surprised that did more damage. I guess it just, a lot of it will depend on like where you hit. It seems like he got a dead center hit there, but I was expecting the, uh, the, the, the AK Tommy to do much more damage, but eh. Oh man, that was so much spray and the wind did not help. Now, I mean, that probably looked a little destroyed. more impressive, and I totally forgot this until I shot, but I'm carrying uh, hollow points. Uh, oh, so yeah, yeah. Probably contributed to why that was a little more aggressive. 
especially out of a shorter barrel like this. By the way, thank you to the Danger Close guys for hooking me up with this. And also, I think they even have a code for you guys. So if you want to check out the description, the pinned comment, uh, yeah, no, I just appreciate them uh, hooking me up with this and hooking you guys up as well if you're interested. Now, much like the 762 by 25 AK barrel, uh, this furniture, the uh, AK Thompson furniture, doesn't really exist. So this is something else that we had to have uh, fabbed up for us custom, uh, thanks to Kalashna Carver on that, by the way, the finish looks fantastic. This is something that was done much in that Thompson wood style from the... Man, there's, there, I, I don't know what it is, there's just something about the look of like wood guns. I just love the look, like, e even with like rifles, you can get certain rifles in like a more, I don't know what the official name is, it, but if they got like that matte black, like almost military aesthetic to them, and then you can get the exact same rifle, but with like a wood finish. I would much rather the wood finish. I just think it looks so much nicer. Yeah, uh, the, the, the pistol grip, the uh, lower handguard here. We could have just used like a Romanian dong or something, but this does look a lot more, more Thompson and it looks damn near identical to the original photo. And of course, a nice stock to match the, the finish of, uh, of all this furniture. It, it came out pretty damn good, I must say. Now up front, we have a gas block that we have modified. Uh, Zach had welded on the uh, top of an AK front sight block. That way we can get, you know, some sort of sights out of this thing. And I know you might be wondering, why didn't you just use a combo block? So anyway, on the muzzle brake, <laughs> we have a Thompson style muzzle brake that, you know, just kind of really just brings the whole thing together. We also have a bitch ass style flange here uh, to cover up for where the barrel has to protrude further back than a typical AK uh, because this gun is direct blowback. There is no lockup. But you had to change a bunch of stuff on the bolt as well. So you can see on the inside, you know, just your traditional, you know, select fire AK. So here on the bulk here, you can see you got a custom piston here. It's not actually a piston since this isn't gas operated, like said, it's direct blowback because you know, pistol caliber, you can do that. Really just here to accommodate bolt mass because on a direct blowback, bolt mass is important so that the gun doesn't explode. You see on a direct blowback, the only thing stopping the gun from exploding immediately because you do have a, you know, cartridge that's exploding inside of your chamber uh, is the mass of the bolt. It's overcoming the weight to be able to open up and cycle the gun. Too heavy, it doesn't move. Too light, it explodes. Whereas on a rifle round, you typically have a rotating bolt or something like that that will rotate and lock into battery. That's why the front trunnion and the bolt on an AK specifically are so important. Because if that lockup isn't solid enough to stop that explosion, uh, you, your gun's just gonna blow up. But this one being direct blowback, we just had to do some modifications here, <laughs> some crazy modifications. Don't worry, this was already kind of a fucked up Bolton carrier, so we're not using good parts here, uh, to where we can just sleeve this bolt here to stop it from rotating back into this cam groove. Instead, it rotates out, just like an AK, out to the side, but we, it rotates out here. And to top it all off, we've got an original 1940s PPSH 41 drum. Now the PPSH-41 drums obviously look very sexy, but they were built to handle higher cyclic rates like the PPSH was capable of. Which means we get to do stuff like this. <laughs> well boys, you can file that one under promises made, promises kept. So after many months of custom work and <laughs> crazy fabrication, here it is, we have it, the Kami Tommy. You did it. Thanks to everyone. That, <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Does he, like, people said that he has a manufacturing license. So does he sell these or, like, even attempt to mass produce them or anything? I, I hope he does. If he doesn't already, I hope he does at some point because that would be amazing. Everyone, I guess the other, uh, the, the, they're probably like, uh, I don't know. The, the, some of these guns have been around so long that I guess it wouldn't be copyright infringement. Like, or, or um, I, it wouldn't even be copyright anyway. But would it be, uh, intellectual property theft or whatever. I don't know how long the intellectual property on some of these will last, but I, he, he'd also have to like custom make it from the ground up with a lot of this stuff, wouldn't he? He wouldn't be able to re like use parts from other guns. Um, yeah, I guess there's a whole bunch of like logistical issues when it comes, logistical and legal issues even past him having a manufacturing license when it comes to that kind of stuff. Who helped us hit the goal to make this happen and thanks to everyone for your patience. The, the ones that were actually patient. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, that was just another project for the books. Be sure to subscribe and stick around to see the next cool project that we do. Thank you for watching to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fury.
is my obsession. Man, I hope he ends up making uh, mass producing these. Okay, there's a little bit after like a post credits thing here. What do we got here? Wimdy. It's fucking Wimdy. <laughs> God damn, it is fucking Wimdy. Somebody ordered a slice of chicken nuggets from Wimdy's. <laughs> Such a now the dumb PDSH 41 joke. drum obviously looks very sexy, but it's meant to handle higher cyclic rates, kind of like the PPSH 41. That stupid. That was redundant. Now the PPSH-41 drum looks obviously super sexy, but it's also, now the PPSH-41 drum, aside from looking obviously very sexy, uh, is meant to have, fuck. Now the PPSH-41 <laughs> drum, obviously very sexy, but uh, meant to hire, fuck. Now the PPSH-41 <laughs> drum obviously looks very sexy, but it's meant to hire, hire, I keep going higher, meant to handle higher cyclic rate, Jesus. Now the PPSH-41 drum looks obviously very sexy, but it's meant to handle higher uh, fire... Fuck! <laughs> Watching him fuck that up like 12 times in a row was just gold. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.